Hello, my name is Paula Crossan from Nashville, Tennessee. We are here celebrating our 40th anniversary of bringing our four children camping at the Yellowstone National Park and the Grand Tetons National Park. We have many stories to tell, but I will tell you one. When our daughter was 12 and Clay was 11 and Guy was 10 and Jay was seven, <clears throat> we had an interesting experience in the Tetons. The rangers had talked to us, we went to all of their ranger talks, about how to be careful about bears, no food, etc., etc. We had given all of our children pots and pans to clang in the night if we heard a bear, and they were excited about it all. In the night I heard heavy breathing outside our tent, and I thought, first it was a ranger checking on everybody, and then I realized it must be a bear. So I woke my husband up and I said, wake up and don't breathe, there is a bear out there. And sure enough, in the morning, our neighbors did not put up their chunk box. He had left a package of instant cocoa, and the bear smelled it, and he rolled his chunk box all over the camp site. And the children were a little bit upset with us because they wanted us to wake them up so they could clang and make a lot of noise. But the next morning, we were ha still happy to be there in the Tetons. And it's a beautiful, beautiful place. And I encourage everyone to come away from radios and TVs and now cell phones and be creative and then just enjoy God's beautiful world. There's nothing like being out in the woods and on trails. Thank you.